Welcome to another video, hope everyone's doing alright and that, this time, it's a return of the crimped. Fantastic, I thought I'd have another bash with it. And this time, we're going to be making a super simple cheese and onion pasty. Look at this one, so simple, so simple. But for a bit of fun, I'm going to be making two. I'm going to make one with the crimped, and I'm going to make one with my hands. See, how, see which one turns out the best. Absolutely fantastic. So grab yourself a cuppa, put your feet up, get myself set up, play me jingle, and we'll get into it. Right, here we go, another turn for the crimp it. absolutely fantastic. Tell you what, there's no doubt these do make cracking pasties like, but I'm interested to see which one comes out best. That on my hands, but I'll have a little run through the ingredients, I've kept it super simple, really convenient, really convenient. But what we're going to be using is some of this stuff, ready rolled puff pastry, fantastic. Quite expensive these, but I managed to get mine for... 24 pence, look at that, fantastic. So I stocked up on them, stuck a load in the freezer, fantastic. And for the filling, we are using some of this stuff, perfect mash from Iceland. It's fantastic, few minutes in the microwave, it's perfect. You can boil a uh, pan of spuds, there's no harm in that. I'll be using some sliced red onions, frozen ones, and just chuck it all in the same pot, fantastic. And some mature cheddar. And the rest of the ingredients, the salt and pepper, some plain flour just to dust the board off and that with me here me work counter and an egg wash and that's it fantastic i see you can make your own mash in that that's perfectly fine but i'm just going to use this stuff it's fantastic i've been eating it on my dinner for weeks love it it used to be quite ropey this years ago but it's, it's good now like i'm just going to try and guess how many i need for two pasties and that that should be all right fantastic Get rid of that. And these sliced red onions, super convenient, no messing about with knives and that. Just get stuck in, innit? I'm just going to put a little layer across the top. And sort of guess the ratio then, like, fantastic, look at that. I'm going to whack that in the microwave for about six or eight minutes. I'll do it for four minutes, I'll let it rest for a minute, and I'll stick it on for another four minutes. Right, this has had about eight minutes in the microwave. I'm just going to check it for a fork here. Yeah, that's fantastic, fantastic. How, how quick and convenient was that? Right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tip it into a bowl, just so we can see it more. Normally I'll just do it in this, like, but because I'm on the telly, we'll do it in a bowl. Fantastic. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to set this aside to cool down a little bit, just so it's not so hot on the pastry then the pastry will rise fantastically. Right, this has cooled down enough now. I'm just going to chuck a couple of big handfuls of grated mature cheddar in. I will leave in the uh, ingredients in the description, but I'll just guess, so I'll, I'll sort of round them up and round them down, but I like two massive big handfuls. Fantastic. More cheese, the better. In fact, I'm just going to put the whole bag in. Fantastic, look at that. Mint. Then I'm just going to give it a nice stir in with a fork. Fantastic. Like I said, I don't want the cheese to melt in that properly because it'll, it'll have time in the oven. But fantastic, look at that. I nearly forgot. Bit of salt and pepper. Hey, that was nearly my mistake for the video. Fantastic. Bit of pepper. Bit of salt. Fantastic. Now I'm just going to set this aside now and we'll move on and we'll start making our pasties. Fantastic, I think I'll start with the crimped, then I'll do me the one by hand. Right, we'll start with the crimped, absolutely fantastic. But what I've done, I've cleaned my bench down, I've made sure there's nothing on it. It's bone dry, I've wiped it off. I'm just going to give it a nice little dust in the flour. Fantastic. Love a bit of bacon in that me, like, as long as it doesn't involve hours and hours of prep and that. I love it, I love it. But we're going to do that. I jumped ahead of myself and I've um, floured a baking tray. I'm just going to shake the excess, excess off. 
Fantastic, so it's bone dry. We're going to cook them side by side. And I'm just going to dust the inside of this crimped out, just to make sure it doesn't stick. I've had comments saying use cling film and all sorts. That sort of defeats the object, doesn't it? You know what I mean? Adds another layer of complexity. And plus, I don't like cling film. I think it's horrible stuff. Horrible stuff. Well, that's nice and dry. That will take with air. With pastry in that. And we're going to use one of these. Just roll puff pastry. Get it out of its box. I defrosted it last night and I've sat it out in the fridge for a few minutes. So hopefully it won't be as sticky in that. Right, we'll get rid of that. Right, there's a bit of fun. I'm just going to set it to the stopwatch off. I'm going to time it to see how long it takes to make this one. Then we'll do the same again when I do it by hand. And fantastic, let's see which one's the quickest as well as the, the best. Fantastic, right, here we go. Basically with this stuff, you just roll it out, put it in your hand, get rid of the backing paper, and whack it in the crimpet. Like I say, it's all dusted out and that, so it should be fine. Quite expensive, this just roll pastry in there. But um, when I seen it cheap, I thought, ah, oh, it's perfect timing, perfect timing. But that's basically it. We'll put it in, and we'll just fill it up. I've got me fill in here. I've got a spoon. Just whack all this in. How easy is this, man? Fantastic. I see these crimp mitts. I do bash them a lot, like, but um, I can't use it every day. Can't you? It's just I, I, I forget about it to be honest with you, like. But it's a bit of fun in that. It's great, man. It's great. Right. I think that'll do us for filling. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, find the edge here. You'll, you'll feel it, there's like teeth marks in them. And I'm just going to run this egg wash right round it. When I first done the first video with these, like, I forgot all about this. But the pasties still come out nice. So I'm just going to rub that edge right round. Then we're just going to do what it says on the tin, crimp it, we're going to fold it over and give it a good old squeeze, fantastic. I'm going to bring in a big knife and just trim off the excess, make sure I don't chop my fingers off and out. I'll make some little tarts or something with that lot, fantastic. And here, uh, we'll bring it out. This is where I have problems with it, because it always sticks. Is it going to stick? Yep, it's sticking again, you see? Look at that. That's no good, man, is it? There you are. There's your crimpet. <laughs> Fantastic. Ah, the bottom's gone as well. I'm going to leave all this in so you can see. This is what a crimp it does. This is why I've only used it about three times, I think. Like, But we'll join the hole up. We'll bring my tray in. And we'll whack it on the tray. That was terrible, that, like, that was terrible. <laughs> I've got crimp, I've missed the it out. Fantastic, fantastic. And that lot took me three minutes, 28, to make that mess. Fantastic, right. Let's get set up and we'll do it by hand. Do it the proper way. Right, another one of these, fantastic. 
we'll start in the same sort of position and that right we'll reset the clock and here we'll go again fantastic I say I'll probably just do this by hand anyway it's it's just as quick you know just as quick so I'm just gonna dust it with flour so it doesn't stick because um, the crimp one didn't even go near the board fantastic I'm gonna get a plate whack a plate on it this is about the same size as the crimp it looks so we're laughing we're laughing I'm just gonna run a knife round I'm not going to press too hard in case I stick, make it stick to the table and that. Get rid of that. More little tarts later. I'm going to pick this up. Fantastic. Look at that. Perfect disc. Perfect disc. I take me fill in. I might have to be a bit more hands on with this one, like, but it's fine. Bit more. That'll do us, that'll do us. Absolutely fantastic. I take my egg wash round the edge. I said tell us in the comments which one you think looks easier to make. I know which one I like, prefer this one. I'm not a professional pasty maker, but I'm going to try and crimp it. I'm just pushing it all under and folding it over on itself. Fantastic, man. Look at that. See, me crimping is, uh, <laughs> takes a lot to be desired. Bit of practice, and I'd get that, I'd get that right, it's just as long as it doesn't rise up in the oven. We'll bring the tray back in. Work on the tray and that took me two minutes ten so there you are over a minute quicker and what do you think of the results well I'm going to put some air vents in a couple in there and a couple in here so it doesn't explode in the oven I'm going to give them a nice egg wash and I'm going to put them in the oven 190 for about 25 minutes I'm going to look through the oven door and check them after about 20 yeah we'll come back we'll have some absolutely fantastic pasties we'll have a taste and we'll see what good buys fantastic the crimped you gotta love them haven't you hey right the bit that everyone's been waiting for check these bad boys out look at them fantastic let's get the little camera and get in a bit closer check them bad boys out tell you what you wouldn't kick any of them out of bed would you fantastic which one do you reckon is the best though crimmit one it's all right isn't it it's all right looks better now than it did before but i think this handmade one takes it like fantastic look at that mint right let's get them off here and get the bust open and have a taste fantastic check that out look at that lush tell us in the comments if you make pasties in that or if you've got a crimmit how do you get on with it? I say I think it's just a bit of kitchen fun, me like. But it does make a good pasty, there's no wrong with that now. We're fantastic. To bust it open and see what's what it's like in the middle. Oh look at that. You can smell the cheesiness, you know. Look at that. Fantastic. All oh, that cheese has melted in that. Lush. Look at that. Mint. Can't wait to get stuck into these. I won't be eating them yet because they're red hot. But we'll bust mine open. See about the handmade one. Oy. Same thing again, look at that. Lovely stringy cheese and that. Just enough potato, enough onion. Right, give me a couple of minutes. We'll have a taste. Right, my favourite time of the video. Tasting time, fantastic. But there you have it. Simple cheese and onion pasties. How simple was that? Fantastic. Right, we'll start with a crimpet one. I say it's held together well. It's cooked well as well, you know. Maybe it's something I'm doing that's that's wrong in that. Get in the comments again and tell us. It's fantastic. Right, let's have a taste. Ah, oh, it's fantastic. Fantastic. Pa pastry's fluffy and that, fl flaky. 
Lush, lush. Right, let's try the homemade one. Fantastic, look at that. All the cheese in there, mint. Fantastic, lush again, lush again. Taste wise, you can't split them like. I think mine's got the edge on, it, on the appearance on that. But tell us in the comments what you think, which one was the best. And yeah, I'd just like to thank everyone for watching and that. Hit likes and subscribes, do all the YouTube stuff for us. If you want to see these out of the kitchen, go to Joe Does This and That. There's a link in the description. I've done a model this week and it didn't all go to plan, so it's fantastic. Bit like this, bit of waffling, bit of messing about and that. So until the next time, have a great week. Get in the kitchen, give these a go, man. Fantastic. And uh, I'll see you next time. Ta-da.